Reserve Bank of India's monthly bulletin on the economy has highlighted that reduced input cost pressures and buoyant corporate sales can herald the upturn of India's CAPEX cycle. However, it has warned that there should be no letdown of guard against inflation. Ritu Singh now joins us uh, with more details. Ritu, take us through the takeaways from this RBI bulletin. Well, first, a disclaimer. The papers in the bulletin reflect the views of the authors and not of RBI as an institution. But that said, these are written by prominent people, which include deputy governors of RBI and are therefore regarded as important views. So let me start with what the paper says on the state of the economy. It says the near-term growth outlook for India is supported by domestic drivers and waning input cost pressures, still buoyant corporate sales, turn up in investments and fixed assets are all heralding the beginning of an upturn in the capex cycle which it says will contribute to a speeding up of growth momentum for the economy there's also a study on inflation which is led by rbi deputy governor michael patra which analyzes the cpi trajectory in india post february and finds that inflation surging above the upper tolerance band of the mpc target was kick started by a series of supply shocks but what started as a shock to food and fuel prices got increasingly generalized over the coming months and a swing in inflation from goods to contact in intensive sectors is generalizing inflation and making it persistent. That said, with CPI still hovering at high levels, there is no letting down of guard by the RBI. Finally, an important and interesting paper that provides some estimates on India's digital economy, which shows that the core digital economy accounted for 8.5% of GBA and the digitally dependent economy around 22% of GBA as of 2019. The digital economy, it finds, grew 2.4 times faster than the Indian economy and employment estimates it finds showed that 4.9 million people were employed in the core digital sector and around 62.4 million people in the digitally disrupted sectors uh, again highlighting how important digital is becoming to the overall state of economy right Hitu, thanks a lot for that